Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Far-right mobs in Middlesbrough stopped people to ask them if they are white and English before letting them through as vile riots continue to sweep the nation. Unsettling video shows thugs standing at a crossroads and confronting drivers in cars as they tried to pass. Are you English? Are you white? One could be heard shouting at a car trying to cross the intersection where hundreds marched with anti-immigration groups earlier today. Yes, he is, someone else was heard shouting back. Two cars narrowly avoided colliding as they sped away from the mob, prompting one of the agitators to whine he had nearly been run over and calling out, where's your police? Rows of officers wielding riot shields were seen near the commotion as thugs circled on BMXs and continued stopping cars, standing in the middle of the road. Cleveland police said this afternoon they are continuing to deal with a disorder in Middlesbrough, claiming to have arrested nine people relating to violent disorder offenses. We are urging members of the public to stay away from Middlesbrough while officers respond to violent disorder in the town, Assistant Chief Constable David Felton said in a statement. The horrifying TikTok video of the checkpoint on Linthorpe Road in Middlesbrough drew outcry as it was shared across social media. This is a pretty concerning development. I thought we were supposed to be moving towards a more inclusive and equitable society, not regressing back to the days of segregation, one user wrote. So utterly disappointed with this country and this disgusting behavior, another said. This is beyond sad. What is going on FGS, a third user added. Middlesbrough has seen a thoroughly disturbing spate of violence over the weekend as far-right groups torched cars and hurled bricks. A so-called protest organized by anti-immigration groups was organized to travel along the Linthorpe Road, where a mob was later seen screening drivers. Buses announced they would change their schedules to avoid the disorder. Hooligans set fire to cars and wheelie bins, pushed towards police trying to restore order. About 300 people gathered in front of a mosque in Waterloo Road in the town to guard it while police blocked off nearby streets. One resident told the PA news agency, we're going to be paying for this, and for what? This has got nothing to do with three little girls that have lost their lives. They've used it to cause utter mayhem on our streets. A person was seen being stretchered into an ambulance after an incident at the Swatters Car Pub. Police in riot gear were forced to retreat to get away from a group dressed in hoods and face coverings at one point. Hamza Yusuf has called for the army to be called in to stop thugs causing disorder on the streets as violence continued unabated through Sunday. It doesn't look like, to me, the police have a handle on the situation, the former first minister of Scotland said. The police have not been able to protect those that are in the Holiday Inn, in Rotherham, he added. The army can help to get control where the police are unable. Despite calls for police to have more powers to clamp down on the riots, Dame Diana Johnson, the Minister for Policing, said police have said they have all the resources they need to deal with the disorder. In Hull last night police used tear gas against thugs who smashed the windows of a hotel housing asylum seekers, while cars were set alight and vandalized through the afternoon. Similar horror rocked Rotherham today as groups stormed a holiday in housing asylum seekers. Around 700 violent anti-immigration protesters clad in balaclavas and draped in St. George's flags clashed with officers trying to protect the Holiday Inn Express in Rotherham, South Yorkshire since around 2 p.m. this afternoon. Objects and pieces of wood were flung at officers who had lined up in front of the building with at least one cop in riot gear being carried away by their colleagues. The grass around the hotel appears to have been set on fire as well. Some were seen preparing to throw bricks of concrete as the violence spiraled. It is unclear if the migrants and asylum seekers housed in the property have been able to evacuate. Mail Online has contacted the Home Office. Police said late this evening that officers were aware and responding proactively to protest acti.